something that often comes up uh, is the ability to kind of find, uh, use the advanced find to kind of group records together, say by, by zip code. This might be helpful for territory assignment, uh, that type of thing. So let me go through that real quick. So in the advanced find window, pull that up. And I want to be able to select multiple zip codes. So I'm going to pull up a zip code. And I'm going to find a couple of them. So I'll just pull that up real quickly. And to get to the bottom of this drop-down list, I'm just hitting the letter Z. And that pulls it down to the bottom real quickly. Um, now I'm going to say I want to have zip codes that begin with, um, because I want to kind of get a grouping of them. And so the ones I'm after is 840 and then a couple of other digits and 841. Um, now the first thing that people do is they say, oh, well, yeah, that's going to be my zip codes. I should be able to see some results here and uh, notice that no records come up. Uh, the default behavior for Microsoft CRM is to have each line or each additional statement in this query be status equals active and zip code begins with 840 and begins with 841. And each record only has a single zip code, so it couldn't both have this one and the next one. So to get around this, I select the zip code rows, click group or, and then now I ha have 840, 841. If I look at the results, I should have a collection of them. I have 13,024. Um, from here, I could do lots of things with this. I could select all these records. I could add them to a marketing list. I could add them to a quick campaign. I could reassign the accounts, kind of the, the idea or example I gave you. Um, maybe it's for territory assignments, um, that type of thing. Um, I could also save this uh, and give it a name, uh, active accounts in 840 and 841, and I could save that. And that's all.